Hello. You've probably been wondering about the channel lately. Where have I been? Why don't I answer comments? Why have I stopped making videos? Will I continue making more tutorials? The answer to all of that is real life got in the way, and yes, I do plan to make more videos. Uh, a few things I want to address. First of all, I've been getting a lot of comments from people getting errors. Most of them look like spelling errors or forgetting to check the relative box or simple mistakes like that. However, GameMaker has been updated several times since some of those early videos, and it is possible that some things have changed, especially since the introduction of the new compiler. Uh, in fact, the new version 1.4 had so many changes, YoYo -Yo Games recommended a completely fresh install instead of just updating. So I'm going to go through the videos again myself and see if the tutorials are still valid, and if they aren't, I will redo them. Also, there has been some demand for tutorials using GML. Uh, I purposely have been putting off GML because I feel coding is a little advanced for basic games, and in some cases drag and drop is faster. The idea behind these videos is that they build on each other in skill level, and I wanted beginners to be able to start making games without getting bogged down learning a programming language. That's sort of why GameMaker exists. I was also afraid that people would get impatient and just copy-paste the code without actually understanding it, whereas Drag and Drop is quick and easy enough that we can focus on the game concepts instead of memorizing syntax. Uh, however, GML does add a lot more functionality than Drag and Drop alone can provide, and so once I had finished the Drag and Drop courses, I was going to go back and redo everything in GML. Well, since I have no idea how long that would be, I've decided instead to start making GML videos now. So there's going to be the D&D version, and then the exact same game in GML, allowing you to compare the methods for the same mechanics. Another thing people are always asking for are the assets that I use. I haven't given out the assets specifically because I don't want anyone to use them. Uh, I spent a lot of time making these tutorials and making them look nice, and I wasn't thrilled about the idea of someone making the game and then passing it off as their own somewhere. That sort of thing happens. However, I also realized that not everyone wants to spend time making or finding assets before they can watch the tutorial, and that it might actually cause people to abandon the videos. So I've decided I will go ahead and start uploading them somewhere for viewers to download and use. Now, as for future tutorials, the next game will be the Zelda-like action game that we were working towards with Sokoban and Pac-Man. After that, I'll do a more advanced side-scrolling shooter, as I said I would, followed by platforming. I feel that will cap off the evolution of skills and concepts you will need to make most games that you can think of. I also wanted to do a series of extra videos covering things like custom installers, the debugger, gamepad controls, and several little things to help polish or round out your game to help make it a real game. Uh, and at that point, I will probably pause the Game Maker series. Originally, I had wanted to cover physics games like Angry Birds or the use of particles and shaders and maybe even get into using the 3D features. Some people have also requested an RPG or a roguelike, but several of those tutorials already exist, and Game Maker isn't always the best choice to use either. RPG Maker VX, for example, would be better for creating RPGs because it is tailored specifically for those types of games and so has all the features you would need already built in. And now that part of Unity is free, that's probably a better choice for 3D games since there's a lot of information, support, assets, and plugins available. Maybe someday in the future I'll come back and cover those advanced games, but by then Game Maker Studio 2 might be out. But I hadn't always wanted this channel to be exclusively about Game Maker either. When I started, I had envisioned creating a sort of hub for beginners, covering a number of different game engines and software. So I think I'll finish up Game Maker, and then look at teaching Scratch or Construct or Fusion, and maybe actual programming tools like Pygame, Phaser, or Flash, if it's still around by then. Uh, I think it might also be helpful if I did a short series on making game art and how to make or find music and sound effects. That's all a bit in the future, but I definitely want to complete the Game Maker tutorials this year. I would like to point out, though, that I am a working adult now, which means my time is severely limited for when I can make new videos. I mean, before I can even record the tutorials, I first have to make the game I'm going to teach. So, I'll ask for your patience, and thank you to those who have stuck around. 
I'm glad most of you seem to find the videos useful, and I hope I can provide more for you in the future. I've just hit 1,500-ish subscribers, and I'd like to see that continue to grow. So, that's the state of the channel, and a look at the future. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you soon.